All right, so we're going to continue with this example of UGI Corp and their uh, LTK4217 production. Okay? Uh, so this uh, fixed and variable resources idea, uh, it's important to understand that they're related to each other. And how are they related to each other? Well, here's the key. Fixed resources limit a firm's variable resources and their productive capacity. So here are a few very simple examples. Let's say that there's an airline, and let's say that that airline has 10 airplanes. And let's say that, um, uh, you know, you really, you got the pilot and the co-pilot. I'm just making stuff up here. I'm not from the, the airline industry, but let's just say pilot and co-pilot, right? Well, if they've only got 10 airplanes, then at any one time, they can only have 20 pilots flying for them, okay? So they can't go hiring 500 pilots. They can't just, you know, they may say, well, you know, for every pilot, we earn this much revenue, right? Well, the problem is if they hire too many pilots, then they're going to have pilots sitting around doing nothing. So there's a limit on how many pilots, pilots are a variable resource. There are limits on how many pilots they can hire and what's causing that limit, the number of airplanes that they have and the airplanes are a fixed resource. We could say the same thing for truck drivers, right? If a company has 50 trucks that haul stuff all over the, a, a region of the United States, okay? At any one time, they can only have 50 truck drivers driving around. Now, you may say, well, what if they're team driving, right? What if one of them's driving for a little while, then the other one's driving for a little while? Okay, now they're limited to only 100 truck drivers. I don't care what the limit is. I don't care if they have some that are at home on break or you know taking a day off or something like that. I don't care if they have 120 truck drivers. I know they're not gonna have 5,000 truck drivers. There is a limit. I can't tell you what the limit is every time, but I'm telling you that for any firm, for any business, however many fixed resources they have, that those fixed resources will set a limit on how many variable resources they can, they can hire or purchase. It's the same thing with, let's say, gasoline. If you only have 50 trucks, those trucks can only use up so much gasoline in one month. Therefore, there's a limit on how much gasoline, or excuse me, diesel, sorry. There's a limit on how much fuel that you can purchase for those trucks in a, uh, in a one month period, okay? Now, another firm that has a fleet of 7,000 trucks, they're gonna use a lot more fuel than the, the company that only has 50 trucks. Same thing with airlines and hotels. A hotel, a company that has more hotel buildings and more rooms is gonna use up more soap, is gonna use up more you know, bedding, that sort of stuff, okay? And they're gonna have more, uh, you know, more people uh, running the, the hotel and cleaning the rooms. I don't care what you call them. And I don't care how big they are. I don't care that, that they can have a few more. But I know one thing, that the fixed resources owned by a firm are going to set a limit on how many variable resources they, basically how many they need and however many they need. Because I know what you're thinking. You're like, well, they could really waste a lot of money and hire, yes, I understand. We're assuming ceteris paribus that the firm wants to maximize their profit. We're assuming that they want to be reasonably efficient, okay? And so there's gonna be a limit on how many variable resources that they need, okay? And so then that's gonna limit how many variable resources they buy, okay? But we already saw in the video on productive capacity that fixed resources also limit productive capacity. So between the last video that said that fixed resources limit productive capacity, and now we're reminding ourselves uh, that fixed resources also limit the variable resources, here's the argument we're gonna make, okay? So variable resources contribute to variable costs. Variable costs combined with, combined with the fixed costs. Now remember, fixed costs don't change. Fixed costs, well, we'll talk about when they do change another time, or well, in the next video. Variable costs 
have a limit. There's a maximum amount of variable costs that the company can afford. Their fixed costs don't change. That means that there's a limit on their total costs. There's a limit on how much total costs they can actually hit. Not that they're trying to, but that they can. Similarly, productive capacity is a quantity. So quantity is limited. And because quantity times price equals total revenue, then productive capacity puts a limit on total revenue. There is a maximum amount of total revenue that a business can actually reach. We're going to talk about that in unit two, but just understand for now in general, total cost has a, has a cap based on fixed resources. Total revenue has a cap, a highest point based on fixed revenues. And since total revenue and total cost are what determines profit, then we can reasonably and confidently say that the fixed resources that a firm have also limit their profit. So if you own a business, however many fixed resources you have, that's going to limit how much profit you can have. UGI Corp has five MIGI 630 Deluxes. Because of that limitation, they can only earn so much profit. Similarly, if they increase to, you know, if they double their production by getting five more machines, that is now going to increase their potential profitability. And so here's what we're going to say. We're going to say that the fixed resources limit a firm's variable resources and their productive capacity. And so this limits variable costs and total costs. as well as quantity and total revenue. So profit is limited by fixed resources. And this explains why many businesses want to grow. Okay. And so what we're going to talk about in the next lesson uh, are a couple concepts that are related to the idea of fixed resources, having them and then wanting to change them.